Greetings, and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. You're going to need a few things if you're going to do watch design for the Tick Watch 2. And this is probably the most important thing of all. Your imagination. From your imagination, you're going to be able to create watch faces that nobody's seen before. <laughs> and they're as easy as playing with a fidget spinner. They really are. I can't wait for there to be a watch here. Can you imagine that when it's spinning and you could actually see the time kind of glowing going around? It's coming. You watch. Maybe you'll design it and you'll do it on your tick watch, which is the next thing that you need is a tick watch. Yeah. Um, this is a tick watch too. And it's got a watch face that I've played with and designed and tweaked on here. In fact, let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. So we can see how long this little section is going to take. Um, and you're going to need the tick watch and you're going to need an app. You're going to need an app called Watchmaker, Watch Faces. And of course, your, your fidget spinner. Don't forget your fidget spinner, right? <laughs> you can get your fidget spinner just about anywhere. They got them all over the place. You can get this app directly from the Google Play Store. Just go in there and look for Watchmaker and download it. You are definitely going to want to pay for it and upgrade it. Uh, but you can play with the free version to see what it does. And then, of course, you're going to need the hardware to design on. You can design on this, but you're going to want to send it to the watch to be able to use it. And where do you get the watch? From our sponsor, who's really, really been over backwards to provide us the Tick Watch 2. Banggood. Banggood's got the Tick Watch 2 in stock right now. This is the basic version that you've seen um, just now I showed you. And they have the more upscale version with the metal band and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. And you saw this one unboxed in the intro. Uh, so check the show notes down below and order yourself a Tick Watch 2. Get it in. Either the really top-of-the-line fancy one, um, the basic one, whichever one calls you, whichever one you can afford, definitely check the show notes. We're going to keep discounts on this constantly active. So if it's not uh, the price you want now, check back later. We'll definitely try to get you the best price going. And your stuff. Now, what I want to show you... Oh, first of all, let's take a look real quick at what we're looking at here when we're looking at this particular program, the Watchmaker app. Um, these are some of the fixes they've done on it recently. Scroll a little bit so you can read about it. Notice it's mentioning Android Wear type watches and well, yeah, everything you're about to see here and more can be designed and run on Android Wear. But you can get into a Tick Watch too a lot less than the cost of an Android Wear, and you can use the same design concepts in the Watchmaker app to design watch faces for the Tick Watch 2. So a really good beginner watch that's kind of a crossover between Android and Android Wear. We're using the Android Wear-ish type design for the watch, but it actually runs on Android as the platform. These are all the different kind of things you can program in here. These are the different prices you can pay to jump up. And um, I'm having a ball. I just go in here practically all the time. Instead of my fidget spinner, I look through the apps. We'll show you, uh, or the watch faces, we'll show you in a little bit. And here's all of the list of apps of watches supported, including the Tick Watch 2. is now fully supported by Watchmaker. That's, just, that's why we're doing this whole series, because you can actually get in here and do this stuff. Latest update, August 10th, 2017. They're constantly updating it. Really great app to have. Now, with that said, let me show you this. Let's switch over to my TickWatch Global. This is my syncing app to sync to the TickWatch right now. And in here, I have all of the watch faces. These are the actual ones on the watch in the order they're there. And a lot of these are the ones that uh, come stock with the watch that you can download and install. And if you touch one of them, you'll switch over to that particular watch, including some of these fancy animated uh, watch faces. See the little fishy swimming? 
trees growing, all sorts of different things that you can do. But this is the stock watch faces. When you go up to this one, which is uh, the watchmaker watch face, which you get by simply installing the app on your phone and then tethering and syncing it with your watch, it will appear in your list of available watch faces. You simply select it, it switches over to it, and there you go. I put you on a different one. Notice I got my battery temperature there, and when it goes off, it goes all the way off. Well, actually, there's a really light blue ring that at night just glows so subtly, but you touch it, it comes back. So I made a custom face, modification of the other face that lets me have a watch that actually goes off like the ones we're used to, rather than having the time. But if I wanted to do differently, it's simple. You just press and hold it, you touch that gear, and it opens up another whole portfolio of watch faces that are available to you, your custom designs and other ones you bring in from the program. Here's the one we were looking at before, that we had the little stopwatch on here, counting and stopping and resetting the battery percentage in the phone 30 percent 33 percent it sinks every few minutes 96 percent in here it's outside 76 degrees fahrenheit and when it goes dim it still has time on it all that is under your control the bright display the dim display things like saying it's mostly cloudy outside we're going to show you in this series how to do all of that stuff but by way of introduction, this is how it works. You need the Watchmaker app, you need to install it on the phone, and then you need to tether it all up so that you can select it on your watch among all the other watch faces. You have your stock watch faces here, but remember, to be able to do this, you have to select the one that's Watchmaker and then access the watch faces from that little gear down there. So what uh what do we see when we open the app watchmaker something different every day you get all these different themable faces the section called weather time stop that watch step on it and uh way down i think at the bottom there's some wow they've added a whole lot more free <laughs> free watch faces so when you first get the app these are the ones you can download and you just simply touch them and say send it to the watch and it sends it here. Am I enjoying it? Of course I am, but I don't want to, uh, to rate it right now. And there you go. That's a free watch face. So get the app, make sure it does this, then you can move on. And by moving on, I mean like really moving on. You can come up to these, and this is the fidget spinner part of life. Instead of, or while you're spinning this thing, you can just kind of peruse, peruse, parade through the faces. You see something you think you might like, touch it. It's going to make it bigger on the screen so you can check it out closer. It's using weather data and can get regular weather, weather updates. Do you want to set up weather now? No, we'll do that later. Here you go. You got a really big display of what it's going to look like. And all of these things can be modified when you go into the watch design. If you like it, send it. If you don't want that one right now, that's fine. Just go back and pick a different one. What you're seeing now on the screen will be totally different to what you're seeing when you scroll through this app on your own. Wow, that's interesting. I haven't been in there for a while, so a lot of these are new. And we'll set up the weather later. And I'm going to go ahead and send that one. See, loading, and it's there. And I'll say later. Okay, and now it's there. And um, when it goes dark, it'll have a difference. Sometimes it just goes a little bit dimmer, but sometimes it goes like completely different. It's up to the designer, but you're able to modify these watch faces to your liking. And that's what this whole workshop is going to be about. Okay. So part one, how you get started, you get yourself a fidget spinner, you get yourself a tick watch, you get yourself the app. Okay. Watchmaker. You get all that stuff installed, 
You let your imagination go wild. I think we're in part one because we did introduction. So part two, we're actually going to start looking at how to uh, design a, a simple watch face, probably by grabbing one and modifying it uh, on here. In fact, let's start with that one. That's a great one. I'm going to send that to the watch. There it is. There it is. And next time we come back, we'll play with that a little bit. See you soon. Thanks for watching.